What's up guys? I'm here with Kyle today. About to go to a Carton Coffee. Um, it's kind of last minute that type of thing. I, I do everything last minute. <laughs> you know, it is like, what it is. You know, like, still getting out on this Sunday. It's yeah. actually uh, one of our close friends shop. I haven't introduced Mike to them formally yet, but one of our close friends are opening up a performance shop and it's actually pretty cool. We're going to check out the new facility. We're going to see what they got going on. They're going to be installing dinos. They're going to be doing Oh, dino. really? Yeah, they're going to be doing Oh, that's up. cool. That's yeah. cool. I, I, I didn't know all that. I saw your face well, light up. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so cool. So they'll cool. be doing dino days yeah. and they're just doing a preview of the shop, just trying to get their name out there yeah. and just trying to get the business oh, cool. going. So. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Hopefully, you know, we're going to have some fun today. Yeah, we're going to yeah. see some interesting yeah. things out there. So, right, cool. SC300s, maybe a Miata, yeah. maybe a couple other things. All right, cool. Yeah, all right. I thought it was like a regular, like, no, you know, no, I, no. I know it was a shop, but I thought that they were already, like, you know, like established. No, so, I was just like, all right, so we're going to no. see some cool cars, you know, but cool. Like, so we get to be there at a shop when they're, like, first opening up, you know, and we get to unsupport a local shop, which I like that. Yep. You know, and we'll see if we can find the owner and see if we can... See if I can get closer, can we get involved? See if we can um, get him on the channel, you know, and talk about a shop. So you guys, you know, who's who are who live in this area in New England, you know, um, can maybe go there. All right. So we'll see you when we get there, and we'll catch up, you know, and see all the cars and do our thing. All right. All right, guys. So we got here. So I'm here at the shop. I'm gonna let Mike introduce himself and his shop and his cars because he's got some cool stuff here that I want I want to show you guys but I'm gonna let you take it. How's it going? I'm Mike. Right. I'm one of the co-owners of Raw Performance here in Plainfield, Connecticut and uh, we're a performance shop. We specialize in pretty much everything. We do everything from wrenching on cars. We have a dyno. We do detail work, ceramic coating, wraps, pretty much oh, everything oh, you so can think be of. Doing that. Performance they're be doing parts. It all. Yeah, we got yeah. it all. <laughs> yeah, so today's not not their official opening, but they're going to be um, yeah, the opening soon. Yeah, it's just a me, soft so. open. We just want to yeah. let people know that we're here yeah. and that we're starting up and stuff. We, yeah. sh we should be open the next couple yeah. weeks. Yeah, actually, um, you guys have probably seen him on some of our Lock City videos because when I go there or Javon goes there, um, you know, we usually, you know, film the cars um, on drifting. But he also has a drift truck that he drifts there. So yep. we, so a little bit later, we'll take a look at that. But first, we got to look at this car that's that's behind us. <laughs> right. Well, not behind us, but behind <laughs> you guys. So, all right, I'm going to turn it around now. All right, guys. So we're back with Mike. We're gonna talk about his car. So, all right. So, so just tell us what car it is, what year, you know, and uh, all right. we'll go from there. So this is a '92 Lexus SC300. Mm -hmm. I bought bought it bone stock in a Long Island from a dentist who had a garage its whole life. I'd look for oh, like nice. six months for a yeah. nice clean chassis because a lot of these were kind of like beat and yeah, you know, they're left hard to find clean now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so it very, took me a while hard. to find this yeah. one. It was low mileage, factory manual, yeah. clean bone factory stock. manual. Factory manual. Yeah. Oh, that's that, that's even which rare. is hard enough to yeah, find yeah. in and of itself. <laughs> yeah, because like when I was looking for a drift car, I was looking for one of these, but I couldn't find one like that was in a good condition, that wasn't rusted out, or or that, that didn't have like a million dents in it. Exactly. Or you know, that 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 even ran. <laughs> you know, and, yep. then, and then I was like, I'm gonna have to find. A motor to put in there too, you know. Yep. I was like, it's just probably out of my budget range at the moment, especially with the like where the prices are now for. Oh, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. These are, these are so. trying to go up in value like crazy. Yeah, too. I bet. Yeah, like it's it's wild. It's it's cool though. All right, so what route did you go when you first got it? So when I first got it, um, it was actually my daily driver. I had yeah. a Evo Ten. Okay. that was like kind of like my race car. Okay. And yeah. uh, I was just you know kind of kind of bombing around it. I did like basic mods to it. I did yeah. some suspension work. You know, basic maintenance. And uh, just kept it as just a clean daily driver. Okay. And uh, I ended up selling my Evo. Yeah. And uh, decided that I wanted to kind of put the, put it all into this and have this be my project. Okay. So uh, I got a 2JZ GTE engine. Got it. Uh, all right. Ended up building that. 
I got an R154 uh, uh, transmission, built yep. that. Um, and then pretty much I'm gonna get closer to the bolt. truck behind this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got this this guy behind us, so. <laughs> you got our cars and coffee going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of just ran with it and went crazy and built it over a course right. of like three years. I okay. uh, just took my time with yeah. it, made sure I did So what was the purpose of the build? Was it for like straight line, like I, just so raw power? I was really like... wanted just like a fun street car. car? Yeah. You know, something that looked good and was fun to drive yeah. and I could go out and, you know, hammer on the street. Yeah, that's pretty much what my RX-7 is for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted something yeah. fun. You know, I'm going to take it, I'll take it to the drag strip. Mm -hmm. I'll take it on the road course. You yeah. know, it's got the suspension Ooh. work to really kind of yeah. make it, you know, go up to Thompson. Right. I could yeah. bomb around the road course with it. It'd be fun. Okay, so what size turbo like so because everyone's so, gonna ask like what size yeah. turbo <laughs> what size injectors it's a big one so yeah. it's a borg warner s369 sxe okay. turbo mm -hmm. so it's got the billet wheel um nice uh -huh. it's got a t I id 1050x injectors okay which are probably going to get upgraded they'll pr they'll be pretty good for now on pump gas but mm -hmm. we're going to be tuning on e85 soon so okay. we're probably going to go up a little bit bigger in injectors so all right it's got a uh, MCC Those, intake manifold. Yeah, all that stuff's really clean. The real pretty kind of dresses the engine bay up. Yeah. Tile blow off valve. Uh, I'm getting this side because the, the sun's all in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got a custom freed engineering catch can for it. Those guys were okay. great. Huge shout out to them. They did a bunch for me. They right there. Yeah, they did my trans mount. Okay. And uh, the catch can for me, all custom because they didn't make yeah. one for the SC. Uh, chassis the Supra's same chassis but uh -huh. a little bit different as far as where the ABS module is okay so they kind of like hooked me up and did a custom cam yeah. for me so for like the rear diff did you have to do anything for that like because because this engine is way stronger than what rear diff is just a factory Supra okay. rear diff yeah. uh, they hold a good amount of power eventually I'll probably upgrade it and do something crazy but okay. for now it's holding up fine and gotcha. it's been you know good so right, cool. I'll run it till it breaks yeah. <laughs> And, and it looks like you did. Uh, did you? Did you? Yeah, so I did, I did big brakes on this okay. thing. Um, yeah. Those are LS400 calipers okay. that are rebuilt. And uh, the wheels are actually really cool and pretty special to me. Yeah. These were one of five Speedline oh, okay. Alessio five nice. piece wheels. Yeah. They normally came on Porsche five cars. Piece? Three piece. Oh, I think you said five. I was like, oh, no. five piece. <laughs> I was like, how does that work? Maybe I did say that. <laughs> Three piece yeah, wheels. Okay. Um, they're one of five. All right. And uh, they. Top Secret in Japan custom ordered these for a couple cars that they built. Right. So these came off one of the Top Secret cars, which was pretty oh, cool. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, a buddy uh, of mine imported. Well, yeah, yeah, I would never get. Yeah, a buddy ones. of mine yeah. imported the car yeah. and actually bought them off. off and tell you said like Top Secret was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty cool because yeah. they normally didn't come in five by one fourteen point three. So yeah. these were like custom built, you know, okay. for Top Secret for yeah. their cars, okay. which is really cool. cool. So what do you think you're putting down for for power wise? So they, it's what, making that 640 on pump gas. 640 at 26 okay. pounds. Okay, and cool. That's pretty much uh -huh. the max that you're getting out of this thing on pump gas. Okay, so if you were, so is it? So do you have like one of those tunes where you can switch from E85 back to? Yeah, it's got flex fuel setup flex in it. It's just yeah. not tuned on E85 yet. Gotcha. Yeah, All we right. ran out of pump and we ran yeah. out of injectors. Yeah. So um, we're probably gonna go with like a dual hanger setup and run yeah. like Hellcat pumps. Okay. And oh. uh, go with like maybe like 1300s or bigger okay. for injectors. Cool. Looking for around like 8, 850, 8, 850 yeah. 85. Yeah. yeah. I'm too, yeah. I, I don't think I can like mentally deal with that much power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you get it. used to it yeah. quick. Like at 640 at first, I was like, oh man, this thing's wild. And then I'm like, yeah. oh, I got used to it real quick. Yeah, like, that's oh, what, now I need to turn I, I, what, what they kind of say too, because um, well, mine is still in the middle of but I'm going to switch out to a uh, different EC, right? So when I got tuned, um, we we didn't finish, but we, we had like about 380s right there, yep. and then we and then we turned it back down to 360, just being safe, like because we weren't finished. Yep. Um, and so like, even at 360, like my car, so like it gets a little scary. It gets a little scary. So I'm thinking about like if you said, but well, I'm not sure how much this car weighs. Do you know how much this car weighs? Though? So when yes. I had taken this car to the dump to put it on the scales, yeah, it weighed 3420. So okay. she's not yeah, so super it's, light, it's, but she's not, not heavy either. either. You know? Yeah. She's, it's decent, a decent size. Decent weight. Decent and that was weight, with yeah. gas in the tank yeah. and everything in there and stuff. Yeah, so, so I kind of, with mine's like three, it's 360, whatever I'm running right now, it, it can get a little scary at, at times. Yeah. You know, so I'm thinking like, you said like seven to eight. I'm like, uh, I don't know about that. So, yeah. Yeah. But, um, all right, so I'm going to let you go because people are calling yeah. you. But, but we're going to get back because I'm going to show you my car and then I want to also show you, I, I want to go over that drift track. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely yeah. go over that drift right. track. All right, guys. Great. All right, guys, this is Mike's uh, drift truck that we were talking about earlier. My nephew has a... Oh, he's gone already. <laughs> Pretty cool truck. No, that makes sense. No, I think, I think the Subaru we were doing the brakes on. 
I guess I can see that now. See it's open here. It's open. Pretty cool. You don't see too many people drifting these. Maybe we can get him to start it up later. Let you know you gotta up the truck game now. <laughs> what made you choose this truck for drifting? So I've always yeah. loved Dakotas. They're my yeah. favorite trucks yeah. ever since I was a kid. I just love the body style of love Dakotas. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to do something different. Everybody does the same thing. Yeah, so it's it's cool. Just, I've never seen one of you guys in yeah, truck. You know? No, exactly. Everybody does yeah. the, the same stuff. I mean, trucks are rare enough, and then Dakotas. Yeah. You know, yeah. I love like these trucks, man. Yeah. So uh, I want to do something a little bit different and something fun. Yep. It's uh, it's definitely a challenge drifting this thing for yeah. sure. Um, it's not like drifting a car, but uh, it it kind of makes that challenge kind of makes it more interesting and, and you know more of an enjoyable yeah. experience. I I liken it to like wrestling a hippo like yeah. you're out there. <laughs> it's, it's it's wild, but it's it's a lot of fun. It really is. I have a blast. I just started really dialing it in to yeah. get it to where I want it to be. Um, there's not a lot of mods out for these for that kind of stuff. Yeah, so a lot I of the stuff had to be custom made. Yeah, and and especially like to reach out. Especially even find one that's in a stick because yeah, exactly. that's probably hard in itself. Yeah, it was <laughs> finding, so this is exactly what I was yeah. looking for. So this one came with the 47 V8 overhead cam, which I wanted because it revs out higher, so it's yeah. better for drifting. And uh, it came with a 392 LSD rear end with a okay. five speed uh, manual. So gotcha. like, that's exactly what I was looking yeah. for. A real drive, you know, yeah. regular cab. Like yep. it was tough to find. Like I drove I like three and a half hours ago pick this up. <laughs> one owner truck, like everything. The guy yeah. that I got it from custom order this and built it like oh, himself. Okay. So it was pretty cool. Um bone stock, older older guy. Yeah. Um and then I ended up doing like cams, intake manifold, throttle body, yeah. big radiator, header back exhaust, yeah. a, a whole bunch of crazy chassis bracing and yeah. stuff. And they're gonna make people like start buying these now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all all the bushings, two good yeah. lower control arms, angle kit, like a bunch of stuff. So yeah, yeah no, it's it's definitely fun. And uh I took it out pretty much every event this year and had a blast with it. Nice. It's been great. Yeah, I want to see how the thing drifts because you know what? Like I, I like film so like so many cars to me, but I, I really want to like like uh, if I can get to to an event, I want to take a hot lap with you, whatever you. Yeah, you know, you're, I want to. You're get more than welcome to come yeah. take a rip with me. It's fun. You'll have a good time. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be like, all right, I'm selling the G35, guys. Yeah. I'll start all over again. <laughs> it's gonna take me another year to get this one on the road. <laughs> all right, yeah, this. And I love trucks, man. It's awesome. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, so we're here with Tom at the shop. Yep. And he's got a Subi that I think you guys are going to like because I got some uh, Subi fans out there, you know, um, but I don't have any Subi content at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I started. <laughs> so, so I'm going to show you this car, which is really cool. All right, so hold on. What you got going on with, with the so, car? So this is a O2, O2 Bug Eye. I've had this car for going on 13 years I'm going to get over here. I keep getting in the yep. way of the sun over here. Yeah, I got the yep. glare. Yeah. This is, this is an O2 bug eye. I've had it for about 13 years now. Yep. Um, as it currently sits, um, built bottom man, stock hybrid, okay. uh, two liter head, um, full bolt on, rotated stirrup setup. It's a 5862. Um, custom downpipe, sternal wastegate dump. Uh, I mean, all the fixings. It's making about 400 to the wheels right now. 400 to the wheels, that's nice. Conservative tune. Yeah. This is an EJ20? Or you it's a 25. 25, okay. Board over 25 um, with the stock heads milled out so that um, they can mate up to the, the 25 block. Okay. Well, yeah, because I don't know a lot of super stuff, but I'm trying to learn. Because yeah. I've always been a fan of, like, of super, but just never owned one. Yeah. You know? What do you mean? You got a couple four strikes? <laughs> well, they don't run. <laughs> <laughs> so they will, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This I went a little overkill with the fuel setup and just uh, cleaning up the bay to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Well, it's very um, pleasing. Yeah. Oh. Think about that. The Subaru engines. A lot of all you see is hoses and stuff everywhere. Yeah. So how it is. So uh, my thought on it was at least try to make it as, as better looking as it could. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, spent a lot of time 
sourcing is doing a lot of AN lines and fittings and stuff and making it look as clean as possible yeah. for what it is. What you got for um, sus um your suspension setup? So it's got a full yeah. version 7 uh, GD uh, drivetrain yep. from the O2 WRX STIs in Japan. Yep. Uh, shorter gear ratio, 6 speed. Okay. Um, everything else that comes with it, Prembos, rear diff, drive shaft to make everything work. All right. Um, so it stops when it wants to stop. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> right, cool, man. That's a, a cool car. I Thank like you. it. Thank you. It's always project. It's never ending. Yeah, that's how our life works. It's going through phase. Like it is a light car. Like four it, and yeah. a half right now at probably twelve. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. No, thank you. That's the life, you know. It's that's fun. lifestyle that we live. Yep. Project's never done. Mm -hmm. Always keep going, even when it looks like it's done. You're just gonna keep finding something else that you want to upgrade or do something Very to. Very so. true. Yeah, I've had this car for 13 yeah. years and it's been yeah. through. This is like its third running setup, yeah. so um, it'll probably have another one at some point in the future. Yeah. All right. But well, thank you. Yeah. Thank. Well, thank you for showing us your car. Appreciate it. All right. Anytime. The motors are exactly all right, guys. So this is a pretty cool Miata. Uh, here, guys. Uh, he goes to Lock City too. Just so you can see right there. He's got that dual caliber setup down there. Pretty cool. I hope you get to see on the camera. And he turboed it. How much power you said that you were getting out of it? About two. Like two thirty. About two thirty. Nice. Yeah. What size turbo are you running? Three fifty eight. Mm. It's like 13, 14 pounds, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's probably, it probably is that. <laughs> it's really clean. Yeah, yeah. it's really clean. This side got painted. And somebody hit, somebody hit down here in a parking lot. So this side got painted, but it's dirty right now. It yeah. Clean. Yeah, that's fine. But it, yeah. But yeah, we all had to drive to get here. It's just cars and coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cool car, man. Look what I found here. That's the Dallas Master who owns it. Well, I love it. See if I can find them here at the meet. Uh, not really meat, carton cloth, you know. Keep saying meat. I say meat for everything. This CRX is a dime, too. I want an S1000 so bad. Pete, some of your S2000, if you're watching this. I need the S2000. Gotta have one of these in my stable. So you got the cutouts. So he's got something going on in there. So we gotta find him. About to close it out. This is Derek from Raw. He hasn't been on here much, but he's also at the shop as well. Yep. So we're about to close this out. So. All right, so it was cool hanging out with you guys. I'm gonna come back again anyway. You know when you guys shop is up and running. Yeah, you're talking about yeah. your car here and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, 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 I got a couple of things. Panel. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I said because because I do have to um, put a new um, adapter so, um, ECU in it because I want to bring it more okay. into the modern world. Yeah, yeah. You know, so what do you want now for an ECU? Right now I'm on um one of um uh, the Apex. Okay. No, so. I remember when I had my FC, I was on yeah. I was on a Pexi, uh, yeah, Pexi, yeah, AFC Pexi, Neo, Pexi, yeah. and I had an Artec yep. ECU for timing. Yep. Oh, so your rotary got too then? Oh yeah, I used okay. to. Okay. Cool. Got too expensive now. Yeah. So if you guys are around, make sure that you check them out. Um, and then Mike's gonna be at Lock City on the, sometime in the end of October with his with his drift truck. And so you guys, hope you guys liked that video because I had the you know the um the Lex in there, a lot of cars. Also met um, another guy that I'm gonna get up with him with his S2000. He has a cool building there. But we're closing it out. See you guys. So, Thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That's nice. Huh? Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my post to say now. I've been humble too long. Yeah. Tell them all to stay calm. Yeah. Tell them all to move on.